Well, I'm back here just late in the day after a little bit of heat with this and a little tapping. The plug came right loose. So let's see. I have something here, a couple five gallon pails. Let's see what comes out. First, there'll probably be sediment that'll have to poke out of the way. Let's see. Got nothing so far. Get some mud on the bottom. Well, there's mud coming out. No coolant though. There it comes. Looks like I'll get it in two buckets because it's slowing down and I have room for maybe a gallon and a half yet. Maybe two buckets won't do it. I think it's gonna. Ah, there's some muddy looking stuff in there. We all know that that's a very good sign. The cooling system must have been pretty close to full. Of course, it probably holds quite a lot more than 10 gallons. It's probably got, that big bucket is over five, but the small one is probably only about four. But that's enough to convince me that I shouldn't have any cooling uh, system issues. But I'll show you the issue that I am concerned about. I think I told you when I did the walk around. See how crooked that wheel is on the right side? Uh, and I was looking how it's made. The axle shaft comes out of the housing and there's a taper and then the hub uh, presses onto the tapered axle shaft coming out. It doesn't have a floating axle like a big truck. The uh, hub actually bolts right onto the drive axle and that being an angle is not a good sign I don't think it's just wheel bearings uh, I'm afraid what I'm gonna find is I'll take the nut off and I'm afraid I'm gonna find that the hub is flopping came loose but it doesn't show wear here if the axle was actually broke off, I thought would think the wheel would have come off of the brake shoes. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's not going to be good. There's going to be some carnage in there, I think. But I'm still happy with it. So I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I could let that last little bit drain. So now that the system drained, 
it'll be time to start working on taking the pony motor off. But it's going to be dark here soon, and I'm not going to start on that today anymore. So this is just a short video. Oh, I'm going to show you one other thing with my front wheel. I'm thinking, is there a truck I'm going to rob a wheel off for on there? Or if I got one laying around? And uh, then all of a sudden I remembered I bought this one. Let's see. It's a 750 20 instead of eight and a quarter, but who cares? And it's never been used. I think I paid $45 for it or something. Well worth that. And I thought, oh, that'll be easy. Just changed the wheel. And then I realized the valve stem goes in the wrong direction. It's the right direction for on a truck, but for on the grader, it's got to go in the other direction because there's no room in the hub on this side for the valve stem. But seeing this was never used, I'm not going to say it's going to, but I'm hoping it'll come off it or easier than an old rusted one to turn it around. So I should have a wheel for the front of the grader. Now I'll show you that when I'm working on that. So I think that is going to be it for tonight. So you can really see how crooked them rear wheels are. But whatever it is, we'll, we'll get through it. And once again, have a good evening and thanks for watching.